so excited that uh, Shaheem Carter would have the opportunity to join us. Uh, you know, another member of the Bama family, another individual is going to be coming to the NFL from that Alabama family. And Shaheem, one of the things that I always loved about our relationship is, man, I could think of just so much conversation after conversation after conversation where when I talk about adversity challenge and your kids Man, you being like that old soul of the football team, man, where you just brought a different level of commitment, a different level of discipline. I just think it was incredible. But when we were talking about your kids, I'd see that fire in your eyes. So tell me a little bit about that burn, that fire for you, and, and what's caused you to compete and to be able to go from Kentwood, Louisiana, to the Alabama Crimson Tide, and then now having the opportunity to go to the NFL. Uh, yeah, so definitely, uh, my kids definitely drive me. Um, like you said before, um, the fire that you see in my eyes when we talk about them, uh, it definitely, you know, it, it brings another person out of me. Uh, every time I speak about them, every time, you know, I'm, you know, doing something that that, that contains football, um, even, you know, even when I'm tired, even when I'm down and out, uh, I got to remind myself that I'm doing it for them. I'm doing it to provide, to, uh, provide for my family. Uh, so, you know, that that's, you know, really the number one goal for me. Uh, when I was growing up, you know, um, I just had my, a single mother, you know, uh, with three, with uh, two of the brothers. So it was, you know, it was definitely hard, you know, growing up. Uh, and especially without a dad, you only have, you know, that, that, that single parent, uh, which was my mom. And, um, you know, being able to have, uh, being able to be in my kid's life, it, it just means everything to me. Uh, but like I said earlier, man, they, that's all they know is Alabama, Alabama, Alabama. Every time, you know, a football game or something come on and like they be like, daddy, that's you, daddy, that's you. And they'll point me out on TV and things like that. And back at home, uh, back in Kenwood, my mom has uh, every every football game that I ever played recorded. Uh, so we'll go home and that's what my son and daughter always want to watch when I'm, you know, when I'm there with them. Yeah. That's awesome. What What would you say is the greatest so you take this fuel, this passion to compete at the highest possible level in the world in the game of football, collegiately, and now it'll be professionally. What would you say is the greatest life lesson that you've learned? Because a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of life lessons that come from playing the game of football. It's not just the sport. So what's maybe the, the greatest lesson you've learned? Uh, don't take anything for granted. Um, you know, always, if, if you're going to do it, give it 110% in everything you do. No matter no matter what it is, um, it don't have to be you know sports related. Um, it don't have to be your job. It don't have to be you know your your work uh, at your job or anything. Uh, as long as you're doing it 110 percent and you don't have you know you don't leave nothing in the tank, then you know that that's one of the life life lessons I learned while at Bama, spending the four years there. Uh, if you do it, if you do everything you know 110 percent and you feel good about it, then hey, you can live on with your stuff. But you know if not, then you have to look at yourself in the mirror every night or every morning and, you know, live with that. It makes me think when, you know, Coach Saban will say, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything, right? It's like yeah. you start getting yeah. sloppy in one area, you get sloppy in another. Yeah, and right, right. So it, it really is amazing, uh, you know, how Alabama has prepared so many guys. I mean, the long, rich tradition is just incredible. And I'm, I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for your family. I'm so excited for the kids to figure out uh, that that new jersey and those new colors. What are oh, what yeah. are you what are you most excited about for this next chapter of your journey? Um, just playing a playing a game. Um, I love playing a game. Uh, giving my all each and every time I'm out there on the field, uh, whether it's at practices or in meeting rooms, uh, especially during the game. Uh, there's no question about that, but you know, um, just the just the individual individualized workouts that you know I do, uh, that all comes in play. You know, on Sundays uh, when I play and when I suit up, ne well, next time I would be suiting up. Uh, but definitely, you know, definitely just those little things. So I'm I'm just ready to take on this next next chapter, whatever comes at me. Well, if there's one thing that I know about you is that uh, that fire is going to stay in your eyes, and uh, people are definitely going to continue to feel you. When you were on that football oh, yeah. field, because I, I know you play with a high level of intensity. So, uh, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate our relationship and uh, always in your corner and just so excited for you, Shaheen. I appreciate you, man. Thank you.